So you can see here that I have a comment box and if I were to type in a name over here, let's say I want to name a brand called Fantastica uh, uh, Coffee right here. So let's say this is a type of a name right here, uh, like, uh, like a wordplay. You can show that it shows a spelling error. So what I can do is, uh, let me just type in the name again, Fantastica right here. So now what happens is that this name actually pops up into place, uh, places right here. So I have Fantastica over here on the bottom and at the top. So if I don't want uh, it to be shown as an error anymore, then I can right click over here and then I can click on ignore all. So what that does is in this document, it ignores out the word Fantastica and shows it as a correct spelling. But if you want to use the word time and again and for multiple documents, you want it to uh, be shown as correct. So in that case, you can add a word to a document. So I'm going to, uh, let's say, add an S at the end. So it spells Fantasticus right here. So if I were to right click, what I can do is I can go around and click on Add Fantasticus to Dictionary. And once I do that, now the word has been added onto Dictionary. So even if I were to uh, create a new document and type in the word, then it won't show any error. So uh, to find out the words that has been added, you can go on to the custom dictionary. And to do that, I'm going to go to edit and then I'm going to go to check spelling right here. And over here, you can see that there's edit dictionary as an option. So if I were to click on ed edit dictionary, you can see that I have two words right here. So I have fantasticus and fantastical right here. If you do not want the word anymore right there, then you can click on delete and the word won't be there anymore. So it'll still show up as a uh, spelling error. If you want to add in manual word right here, then you can go ahead and type it in. So if I want to add in tutitube, for example, just like this, I can simply add this in right here. I'm going to add in tutitube, add this in and so forth. I can add in as many words as I wish. I can also go around into other languages right here and add in different set of words for each of the languages as well. But in this case, I have enabled all languages. So no matter what the settings of my language will be, it'll still show up as a correct spelling once I add it in right here. You can also go around here. You can delete. You can go around right here. And then uh, what you can do is, let's say, for example, add in an even change out. So there's a uh, tube right here. So I'm just going to add in tutubber and then click on change. And now you can see that it has changed the word. And that is how you can ignore uh, the spellings that are incorrect. Uh, if you'd want to ignore it, you can add into your uh, custom dictionary and then edit custom dictionary inside of Adobe Acrobat Reader. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.